Beamish Dew Buddies. This is Fetters Farmstead. My name's Tyler. We have plenty of work to do today, so let's get after it. Hey, cutie. Oh, my goodness. So last night, me and Sarah were laying in bed. I was sleeping, she says. I don't know if I was snoring or not, but I heard uh, the blue our farm dog started barking his big, bad bark like something's going on. You know. And then I heard the goats going nuts. Everything was going nuts. So I was like, oh, that is a, that's a, a cry for help. So I jumped out of bed, threw on my shirt, ran outside my underwear with a big spotlight and look, there she is, laying in the mud, giving birth, and the frickin' pigs are attacking her. But man, was it a tense moment at 10.45 at night. Like, it was scary for a minute. And Sarah come running out with blankets and towels and everything we need, and we scoop her up and bring her over and put her in a little pen here and get everybody separated, get, out, get everybody away from the stupid pigs. <sighs> But we have a healthy and a happy little baby. Now we're waiting on Mavis. Hey Mavis, it's your turn. You're next. I'm gonna give us cute little kids and hopefully they're girls. Or we're gonna get rid of all you guys. No, we won't. She's eating good. Almost three quarters scoop of feed. So get her strength back. She give her some probiotic shot or something. So if anybody's looking for the cutest little buckling. Hey buddy, you're a cutie. We overgrazed our pasture pretty bad this winter and there is no grass growing anytime soon not in this mud pit so we got some cheap hay and we're just gonna spread hay all over and the ducks like this mud crap but at least the pigs are in heaven they're enjoying the, the ground cover they were chewing on it for a while but now they decide they're gonna take an afternoon nap can't can't argue with them I'd like to join them but I got stuff to do you're enjoying your best life. I'm gonna come down and scratch you. I'm gonna scratch you. Go bag. Right now, so oh my goodness. I know. It's so muddy. I'm his neighbor down the road from us. His uh, daughter's getting married, and uh, he asked, he called me this morning, asked me if I can bring the bench wagon over to him. So we're gonna go grab the bench wagon so they can have church and have wedding soon. When I started taxi driving for the Amish. I hated pulling bench wagons. They were had old steel wheels on them and you'd go down the road and it just felt like your whole truck was gonna rattle and shake apart. But now these new ones have rubber wheels on them. They're not they're not pneumatic, they're they're an airless tire. But they work pretty good. Some days, a lot of days, I feel like I could really use the ability to buy time. Just don't have enough time in the day to get everything done that needs done. I told the neighbor what I was doing, spreading hay. So he brought me one of these ginormous big ones. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it was cheap. So, at least I don't have kittens, but. <laughs> Looks like we're having Brussels sprouts for dinner. And some cauliflower, broccoli. Me and Sarah out here spreading hay and all the horses came over. I'm at a horse treats. Crap! 